I'm Jack with Enrichment Systems. We're here today doing a head-to-head -head between our ES150 portable unit. It is submerged in this tank right now. We, I'm showing a comparison between this and our standard aeration that you see all over in most grows today. This has been running nonstop for over an hour. This one ran for 30 minutes and has been sitting stationary for almost 30 minutes. Here is our DO meter. As you can see, we are inside of the ES charged water. Sitting in the high 20s after 30 minutes. And then we're gonna jump over here and I'm gonna show you what your standard setup is or is not doing. And I'll explain to you why that is. So let's move over here real quick. And as this plummets, so it's very deceiving because if you were to ask me two years ago before we got into this, which one has more oxygen, I would have told you this one because it looks like it is creating oxygen. The problem is it's creating oxygen and it's passing through the water. So it's all disappearing. What is different about the enrichment systems unit is we are creating nanobubbles. Nanobubbles are one micron or one tenth of a micron small, which basically means that they are so small that they do not evaporate. They stay suspended in space. So what does that mean? That means in any kind of horticulture environment, we are able to deliver that oxygen to the root zone. Where in this old school case, this isn't going anywhere. The, if you put a plant in here, you might get some benefit, but as you can see, not much. Tap water is usually in the seven range five to seven range. So this is just barely over tap water and it's still dropping. 